Welcome to the pre-birth clinic. Know your baby before it knows you. Lipo Glow Surgery means you'll never get lost in the dark again. Replacing all the fat in your body with a glow-in-the-dark filament. It's virtually painless and completely permanent. It's a girl, I'm pretty sure. I just sense it's going to be a little baby girl in my stomach. It's not a sandwich, honey. What? It's in your womb, not your stomach. No, I just, I said I have a feeling in my stomach. You know where the baby is, Brian? Do you mean like a painful feeling? Honey, if you can feel something in your stomach, we should tell the doctor no, just, about no, it. No, 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 it's just, it's just a feeling. It's okay. Mr. and Mrs. Bucket, Studio 17, please. Um, hi, we, uh, we have a free screening coupon. If we could use it. What do Abraham Lincoln and Hitler have in common? They were both born. <laughs> My name is Dr. Mogiashu, and today I will be accurately forecasting the exact mental attributes of your unborn fetus, so you can decide if you wish to bring it into this world. We cannot repeat, cannot make that decision for you. We can only advise. Any questions? I have a coupon for the free screening. What is the question? Um, could I use it? After brief deliberation, I've decided, yes, you can use the coupon. How accurate is all this? <laughs> <clears throat> the pre-birth forecast is estimated to be accurate to within 0 0.002 decicents per deltitude of brain matter. So is that accurate? Well, it sounds like it. <laughs> Let us begin. <laughs> Mrs. Bucket, a bird falls from the sky. What colour is it? Black. Mr. Bucket, a bird falls from the sky. What colour is it? Black. Should I keep answering until it goes green? Mrs. Bucket, how long was that? What? Mr. Bucket, how long was what? That. Mrs. Bucket, child, grow, leave, depart. Do you agree? Not really. Child, grow, leave, dead. Agree? No. Is my head scanner broken? No. No, it's fine. When the red light comes on, is that good or bad? <laughs> it's neither good nor bad. It just feels negative in some way. Mrs. Bucket, this is a projected image of your baby. It's nothing more. I love you, Brian. I love you too. That's Mum. God bless her. Don't get upset, hon. It's just a projection. 
No, no, this is real, Mr. Bucket. It's a very pronounced memory. It's very pronounced. Can we turn it off? Can we turn it off, please? Shh. Can we please just turn it off? Yeah, you're right. It's just stupid projection anyway. It's not real. Phase two complete. It's nice seeing your mum, wasn't it? Birth advisor. Hello, Buckets. I'm Dr. Fletcher. I'll be your birth advisor today. How did you find the pre-birth experience? Yeah, fine. Great. Dr. Mogiashu is one of our finest advisors. Oh, stop it. <laughs> anyway, I bet you're dying to find out what your child will be like, so uh, let's jump straight into it, shall we? <laughs> yes. You have a little guy in there, uh, a boy. <laughs> and, well, there's no easy way of saying this. Your son has an abnormally large viral globe. Sociopathic, murderous tendencies. The child will almost certainly develop into a killer. Sorry, when you started speaking, you were, you were laughing. What were you laughing about? Oh, he does a really good impression of Robert De Niro. I love Robert De Niro. You do. What do you recommend we do? My advice, repeat, advice, is to terminate it at once. Him? There's terminate him? My advice would be to terminate. The fetus will grow into a heartless... Excuse me, Doctor. You know nothing about my child? The test is accurate, Mrs. Bucket. I can assure you of that. Once you've made your decision, please report to the reception desk where you will receive your termination pill or a token for a free pack of baby wipes, depending on your decision. Ah, here's a leaflet with... Details concerning the other surgeries available at this practitioner, facial, bodily, even mental surgeries are available, and for a limited time, at a reduced rate for current customers. Hmm. Why not get one today? Save on the uh, travel costs. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Hannah. I wish we hadn't come. A stupid coupon. <clears throat> we should get it over with. 
I'm not killing him, Brian. Honey, it's my fault. I'm no good. We have to do the right thing. Oh, just shut up, Brian, okay? You're fine. It's these doctors that don't know anything. Our son is going to grow up to be a murderer. I'm the opposite of fine. Could you get Fridays off work? Why? We could visit him in prison once a week. Like a nice family trip. Rita, honey, our son is a killer. We'd be responsible for a murder in the making. Yes, but he's our murderer. Our little boy. Look, I, I don't care what he's capable of. I love the bones of him. And I know we're strong enough to take this on. I know we are. Well, m maybe we could say... Stuart, if you want to kill people, then just kill bad people. And he'd be kind of like a vigilante. Stuart, O'Brien, now we've named him, we'll have to keep him. 